We're fighting Bedrock Iron Ore, and uh, to do that, we have to dig down really deep, which we're doing right now. We're going down to Bedrock to get this ore. And once we have this ore, we're going to go ahead and try to get enough steel to produce chain steel. One of the end game items. Now, the reason you want to go for chain steel is for a very, very particular recipe. Now, you, you should not try this on your own because odds are you're gonna fail at it because you need a lot of steel and I've had a lot of steel before in previous let's plays where I didn't actually try to make this but right now I don't have any steel and I'm gonna try to make this heavy chain steel so this is made from this made from this made from that made from this made from but you, you get the idea this is basically you smelt the ingot and then you forge it together, and then you keep doing that over and over and over. And it takes 3,000 plus of these ingots to make what this is used for. Now, this is used for endgame stuff, but we're going to ignore that. What? You can smelt heavy chain steel. What? That is, that is actually more terrifying. What can you do if smelted heavy chain steel? So, heavy chain steel is used in, down at the end of this list, red keys, shackles, which are the most important thing. Shackles cost three of them. And to get shackles, you have to be insane. There, there's no other way to get it. You just have to have, to have some kind of, like, hatred or something. I don't know. But we're gonna try to get shackles. It is very difficult to do. And then we're gonna mount them to zirconium pants. But the first things we gotta do is find bedrock iron. Now, bedrock iron is the... Like, it, it is, it is, it, this is the way to get steel, bro. If you're trying to get steel and you do not have bedrock iron, you're not getting steel, you're getting absolute garbage. Now, let's go ahead and get started by destructicating this the good old-fashioned way. This is this is the trick I like to use. You just take a leather, and hopefully it, it hasn't changed because those shouldn't hurt me. And that's gonna give you depth rock, which is nice if you're playing on server. Because with depth rock, you can put your friends in prison. That's right. You can build a gulag for your friends, and they'll have very much fun with that. So let's go ahead and keep digging. Second blast, and this is the tier one bedrock iron ore. Now the tier doesn't matter. The tier only determines basically what kind of drill bit you're going to need. And we have a very high tier drill bit, which is a tier 3. And it's going to be giving us a lot of them. Like a lot of ore. Now it, this is a very energy intensive process. So you're not going to be doing this very early on. But, well I mean, we're not very early on, are we? We're pretty late in the game. We're like, yeah, I mean like, we're pretty far in, right? Well, we've, we failed to kill Mask Man. We killed the Ender Dragon, though. Uh, we have not assembled Space Gerald, so we're not Endgame. Endgame is Space Gerald. Once you have Space Gerald done, you're in the Endgame. But we're nowhere near Space Gerald. I think what I want to do for this episode is make this into a very extra long episode. Where I combine all of the videos I record on the uh, different parts of this as, like... Um, like a journey, like, like I have, I spent 16,000 hours to make this item, which I mean, I'm, I've probably spent like loads of hours playing HBM mod trying to get this item. It's ridiculous, this item. I even tried to make it on the server several times, but, um, yeah, let's just say your teammates don't like it when you try to make uh, stupid items like chain steel, uh, because it's ridiculous and stupid. And uh, it's just absolutely stupid to make that when you don't really need it. I got all this garbage on me, dude. They always say, don't mine straight up. You know how much gravel I've mined into on the way up that I would never mine into before. An absolute ton. You probably shouldn't mine straight up. I'm going to just be completely honest with y'all. Mining straight up is actually... The worst mistake I think I could have made, but, I mean, not really, because there's worse mistakes. I think he's stuck. 
They might have just glue McAdoo that guy. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start the next day of doing this stupid nonsense. So making chain steel has always been one of my goals. I just keep forgetting. Well, actually, I, the reason I didn't make it in the last Let's Play, even though I had the technology and stuff to do it, is, like, I actually, I mean, I had, like, three steel crates of steel, which is, like, ridiculous. I, I could always go back and just go in that world and just make the chain steel, just, just to make sure that I've done it. But, really, that's not going to be useful, because this is the current Let's Play, and uh, this is with all the new modern technology that HPM has gifted us with. Especially the record player, my favorite machine. Um, and the Giga record player. This one can play two records at once, dude. <laughs> I, I, honestly, it's kind of obvious what this one is. It's like an arc welder. But this one, this one looks like a record player, honestly. And I'm just going to keep calling it the record player until, until it eventually plays record music. <laughs> uh, it's never going to happen. Got me some rare earth ore. I want to process the rare earth ore, even though it's not essential to the mission today. The mission of the day is starting chain steel, the ultimate quest line. Which uh, we're, we we just got started with this, so oh, let's go. Okay, we got our acid lasers running. So we're gonna go for a bit of prizes with this bedrock iron ore. Now there's a, there's a bit of a problem with the bedrock iron ore, and I say I don't know if this is gonna actually work the way it used to do back in the day. When uh, things were were different, so let me go ahead and make pylons, cause I gotta connect to make this thing to the energy grid, and it's becoming a bit of an issue. We need to make energy pylons for this. We're gonna need six of those. I don't think we actually need six. I'm just just making sure that we have enough, because I also need these for other things as well. Believe it or not, I could have used these over at the other Orprac plant. And also, I forgot these guys even existed in my storage, so... I mean... There we go. This is really easy crafting, dude. Easy crafting. Uh... Take those. Also, where is the... We need some wooden planks in here, man. Give me some of these, uh... Oak log. Turn that into oak plank. Planck's constant. What the heck is Planck's constant, and why do I remember what it's called, dude? That's some science. Oh wait, a second. That's what you multiply the spin thingies by. In it, it's got something to do with the spin thingies. The, the in the particle physics, you got spin thingies, and then you got Planck's constant. Which I mean, it's not really gonna be useful to me. I don't know why. Oh, wait, this for spin parity in it. That's what it's called. Spin parity. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite. Spin parity. What's it a parody of? I don't know. I mean, I don't know any musicians today. Um, I mean, I know there's one musician. But I don't think any of my viewers will know that musician, so I'm just not going to say who that is. Like, I don't know him personally. I just, I just know their music. And their name, but I don't think any of you all will know that musician, so I don't really care. Alrighty, I need to go back and get my cables because I didn't come prepared. That's just amazing, dude. Come on, more cabling. Oh no, not cabling, it's cabaling. Buh. So we're gonna start the wire there. It can only go 10 meters because that is one of the, the stupid garbage ones. So, I mean, why am I using stupid garbage ones if they're stupid garbage? Well, I, it's, it's just, uh, it's what I have. You kidding me? That's too far away. Too far away in it. Huh? Eight is gonna be too far away? Bruh. Come on. See what I mean? They're stupid garbage ones. Those ones. Tiny cable, stupid garbage cable. Go 23, 24. Why too far away? Huh? Okay. Come on. 24. Boom. Uh, keep going. Come on. We got stuff to connect. 23, 24. Maximum distance. Come on. One more. 
Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh. Okay. Indistinct caveman sound. Perfect. Connect the mication completed. Operation ready. Boom. Toggle drill. Toggle forcing. Crusher. No. Oh my gosh, dude. You ever get jump scared by the sound of a phone? That is just whack. Okay, it's on the mission right now to do some stuff and things, so while it's doing the stuff and things, let's go destroy the environment. Goodbye, Mother Nature. You're going to be missed because I am fighting a very big war against Mother Nature right now. We must destructicate all the bumblebees using a lawnmower. That's right. Bees nest versus lawnmower. <laughs> Bruh, so stupid. Those bees are annoying. Destruct the McCade everything, no matter how good it is for the environment. Destroy at all costs. Oh, hey, I should probably plug that hole that just pitfalls straight into oblivion. Good grief. Todd Howard would probably not approve of this, but... Goodbye, oblivion. I'm, I'm destructicating you from existence. Hey, hey, you got the first iron bedrock ore. Now this guy, he's chugging 10 kilo HE or something, it looks like. Will you shut up? Is that actually probably important? I should probably check my phone. Usually it's something important. I'm gonna check it. Never mind, it was something stupid. Ugh. Sometimes I just don't check my phone. Well, actually most of the time. Usually because I'm doing other stuff. But we got... Iron Bedrock Ore. Now check this out. This Iron Bedrock Ore is unlike the new Bedrock Ore, but it's actually really um, disappointing because I want to use the new. I want to try out the new Bedrock Ore at some point. That's not happening. So see this. You gotta do processing to this, and the first step of processing this is that probably is a word, and I probably don't know what that means. We're got. We're not gonna say that. We're processing this is. To centrifuge it. So, that's what we're gonna do. On to the holy centrifuge. At once. I really need to install a new entrance. Probably to the coker room or something. You know, I got a plan for this build, and you all don't know what it is. So, I, well, until it's done. So now you can see, this will make four of these guys, right? That makes four centrifuge to iron ore, right? And the four centrifuge to iron ore needs to be cleaned next goes to the cleaning machine, which, I mean, it's a bit of a process, I, but we're not automating this, so we'll go down to the bottom and we'll get the stuff out of the thing. So we should have about 12 when it's done. Oh, what the heck was that? Okay, that's fine. That's nowhere near nothing, but I'm going to go see if it's good. Because there's always a chance that it could be the infamous B-92 laser pistol that just fell out of the sky. It's not. Not this time. At least. I'm kind of sad. I am still waiting for the day when a B-92 laser pistol will fall out of the sky again during one of these Let's Plays. It's only happened once, and it was not during a Let's Play. It was on a server. But it can happen. So always make sure you check those meteorites, because if a B-92 falls out of the sky, it will despawn before you can pick it up. If you don't, go check. <laughs> but if you go check, you'll get that thing. Now, this actually needs to be centrifuged after cleaning. Correct. Or incorrect. So that can be centrifuged. Yes. Into separated iron ore. So, we will acidize that. After I take a bit of a nap. Of course, it's not like 4 in the morning anymore. It's actually 7.21. So I'm not going to be able to yawn, like I did a couple episodes ago. Three episodes ago, I went to sleep and I actually was yawning. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Anyway, how does it go? Oh, we're out of energy, dude. Dude, that is no good. Not cool. Bruh. Bruh. Energy? Gone. <laughs> we need to turn on the RBMK. Remember, the proper way to say RBMK is to say it like a pirate. So, always go RBMK. Perfect. Now you sound like a pirate. 
you're, you're on your way to piratehood. Which, I mean, that that's actually... Oh, wait, these are not enriched uranium. Oh, I think I said the uh, other guys for not enriched uranium. Whoops, my bad. Sorry, fellas. Ooh. You just go watch the RBM gay episode. And our steam is going up. And our energy... Whoa, 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 what? What the heck? Wait, you're telling me energy cannot go backwards through the system? Or is it it's just, just one way system, isn't it? Oh, wait, this only goes to this place. Ah, I need to set up a system that actually takes it over to the place. Okay, that's a bit bothersome. Uh, because that system is just, like, that makes it way ridiculous, like. No reason to do that. Now, one of these hooks into the this guy here. So that one goes around, around, goes into that. Right, and it can't go back through this guy, which is, uh, the issue. So I'm gonna remove this and replace it with a cable. And that will fix everything. Uh, you, you see, that's just, that's just the magic of being great at engineering and designing a beautifully, perfectly well-designed system that, that people, that nobody will be able to contradict. This is, a, this is the most amazing system for energy ever. You cannot say otherwise. Actually, we, we uh, uh, it's not until we get technetium blocks. Okay. When we get the technetium capacitors or whatever, tantalum capacitors, when we get those, that's when it's the best. But for now, you, you can criticize this poor system for now uh, until we get the, those ones. Or the tripidium ones. Those ones are kind of bad, though. I just think I'm going to go with the tantalum ones because you can make a lot of them pretty easily. The question is, can the RBMK actually keep up with this? I I actually have no idea. I I don't know. Like I am not sure if the RBMK is gonna keep up with that. We'll just have to find out. Like that's that's just really how it goes. Like I'm sure there's a way to do math, but uh, I don't have to do math anymore. I'm done with math. Yeah, math math class was for losers, dude. All right, let's go ahead and check this out now. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> let's not check that out. That is that is a bit uh, not fun. This is probably why people tell me I need to start using torches, but, you know, I don't listen to those people because I don't care. Torches don't look good, in my opinion. Why would I use torches? Huh. Ah, uh, as you can see, it has ejected our cleaned iron ore out into there. So, to process that further, we're going to process it through separated... Or now from here nitration or purification are your two options now you could nitrate it and that gives you a byproduct of crystalline sulfur which is not what we want er, that's a waste because your nitric acid is for bismuth well actually it's HP solvent but you get the point we're not nitrating this because that, that's just that's just no not something we want to do because the sulfuric acid gets us to the, where we want to be and also doesn't waste nitric acid, which is really expensive. Because it's way easier to find sulfur, specifically in the nether, than it is to find niter, which only exists in the overworld in very rare quantities. So, even though we have processing that accounts for the expense of mining niter, it's just way better to not have to mine it at all or like to, to not have to deal with that or like to not have to drill it out of the ground and this guy is actually keeping up surprisingly well like i am impressed this is the first rbmk i've been impressed by that i've built and it's probably the worst looking i'll, I'll actually not really it just looks kind of funny it's kind of like it's giving us the finger right now yeah, I'm not sure I like this design. Maybe we should, uh... Maybe we should, we should just leave it as is. Uh... So we've done, like, three steps, and we're at 48 iron. As you all can see, this is why separated iron ore, or, or the iron bedrock ore, is ridiculous. Because it just snowballs. It literally snowballs. We're at 48 when we started with, like, two. So now, 
Sulfuric acid is the next step. And that's going to take a while because we got 48 of these pieces. So, yeah, it's just going to take a while. I do have one question. What the heck is this used for? There is no ingot for those. They are just... They just ex Wait. That is for steel. Well, let me get this right. The carbon content in steel is probably different. Meteoric iron. How do you make that? That's probably from Galacticraft. Or it's from an... Uh, the other mod. That adds planets. You all don't know about that mod. <laughs> because I haven't told you about it yet. Let's go ahead and process this. Uh, dash is gonna be. How much do we got in there? Boron, seventy-eight. I don't think we can make enough boronium for that. So, uh, balonium. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! St just shut it up. Um. So once we have cleaned it, we've separated it and purified it. The last step for actually processing it is enriching it in a centrifuge. Or, well, I think that's the last step. And then taking it to the blast furnace. So remember how we had 48 of these? And we just purified these, right? Well, now I have 10 of these. And when you separate these into 4. Now, remember, there's still more of these going through here. But when you separate 11 of these into 4. Or 48 into 4, for that matter. How much steel do you think that is? Because each one is worth 3 steel. I'll let you figure that one out for yourself, because that's going to be a lot of steel. And, of course, we need a lot of steel to make what I want to make. You see what I'm getting at? This is the way to make chain steel. You need a drill. You don't spend six years mining iron ore. When you can spend two minutes drilling five pieces of iron bedrock, and then doing this whole big process. Well, alas, I think we're out of time for now. And then next time, I'll record the next part of this episode. Where we finally make chain steel, hopefully. So I can make that episode, or make that very clickbait title. That I really want to make. Because I think it'd probably get a lot of views. Or actually, nobody would care. What is it, What was it again? Actually, I'll check back in the video. Well, it really doesn't matter if I get views or not. Because I'm going to be leaving soon anyway, for... Other stuff, which I think is way more important than hobbies and stuff. And it's more exciting to me, anyway. <laughs> it's a, it's an awesome job, dude. It's awesome. I'm so excited for it, bro. So excited for it. Bro, I get to jump out of airplanes and stuff. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's gonna be fun, dude. So excited for that. But, uh, first I gotta make, I wanna finish this. I want to complete all of the HBM mod before I do that. And I think I can do that. That's why I'm doing this series, is to finish every single thing in HBM mod. So there's a lot of challenges. One of the things that's always been a challenge, or something that I've wanted to do, is, is literally... Oh, wait a second. What was I processing in that? I was... I put it in the hopper. Yeah, that's a mistake. Anyway... One of the things I've always wanted to do is make the chain steel, or the chains of life, or whatever, or the chains of just amazingness, and I'm doing that, so. So there is one final part of making this steel. That's actually making the steel. As you see, you get three pieces for each of them, if you do it correctly. Instead of smelting this stuff down in a crucible, like I used to do back in the day, way long time ago. That's what I used to do for steel. It was, I mean, it's really easy to just passive that and just have that set up, but you can only do that with hematite and have it be efficient. Otherwise, you're just wasting, like, what could be a three steel iron ore. You're wasting it. So, you don't want to do that. You just want to send the iron ore through the thing with the other stuff that we have a lot of. Which we happen to be making more of right now, probably. Over here. Lots of petroleum coke. Lignite coke. Coke, 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 coke. This stuff will three times your iron. It's like Elon Musk, okay? It's the Elon Musk of iron making. It will three times your iron right now. Dude, you just need this. Probably. <laughs>